Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Legends Group Break recap. I'm going to fly through this thing. Um, again, sorry it took so long. It was supposed to be broken uh, on Saturday, not the Sunday, because I travel an awful lot, as you guys already know, for my job. So, always on the road, always flying places, um, and I was gone for like uh, four and a half days straight. And then when I got back, I had a lot of work to do for, you know, a day and a half to catch up and stuff. So, anyway, I'm squeezing this in right now. I just did the, the random video and stuff. You guys probably already watched that. Uh, it's long and boring and annoying. Um, just to start, you guys already know I went over this before, um, but I just want to recover it again. Let me pull out a random base card here. A second. Um, so you guys know if you're not familiar with the project, project, sorry, the product. Um, if you look at this guy, for instance, nobody is in an NFL uniform at all, and on the back it doesn't give any NFL stats at all. It doesn't even mention NFL teams. It doesn't say they were drafted or anything. So every single player, if you don't know where they go, like the obvious ones like a Dan Rado to the Dolphins, every single player needs to be looked up. And, yeah, there can be debate on what team he goes to himself, but this is Legends from college football, and I made it as fair as possible. I made the judgment on where they spent the most time or where they were most legendary. But if it was kind of split with where they spent their time and they had a successful career in one pla or two places or three places, then that's when I did randomization. Made as far as possible. Um, I did make the one mistake with the Jim Montana. Actually, someone pointed out, but I had already switched it um, after I put up that video. While I was uploading, I had already switched it. So, <clears throat> actually, went to the 49ers instead of the Chiefs because I did a randomization with the Chiefs. So, sorry, Philly Chuck. Um, the Jim Montana rightfully goes to the 49ers, and that's Skyler 81501. Uh, not that he needed any more hits. I think he does have the biggest stack, but you know, he bought three teams. You bought three teams to get the most cards. Um, I also had three teams, got a lot of cards. Two teams, two teams, a lot of cards. Anyway, um, sorry about that little confusion, but I will try to fly through this real quick because we're already at two minutes. Anyway, I'm just going to fly through. I don't have enough time to read all the cards because there's so many cards that are numbered, and every single card that's a hit is in a hard case and a penny sleeve, as always. And any non hit, any numbered card, any rookie, uh, even a non numbered inserts, every single one's in a penny sleeve. I protect all the cards for you guys, so. Anyway, um, I'll just show you the name of the person. It's random order, so obviously that's Haybart30, uh, Cowboys and Cardinals, and then I will just go through his cards that he got here. Now they were all numbered. If you see a rainbow, it's the 499. If you see a gold, it's the 99. A bronze is to 999, and a green is the 25. Anyway, these are all rookies and legends and stuff. There's Troy Aikman autograph, Redemption, Early Doucette. All these guys put like their numbers on their autograph too, which is really, really sweet, I think. Like I said, I'm just going to show it and kind of go through it because I will not make it if not. This guy, uh, Drew Crew, only got Steve Slayton stuff, but I mean, he got major P PC stuff if he likes Slayton. So, got a couple low numbered rookies and an autograph and stuff. So, you know, just getting the Texans, that's not bad. Not bad at all. It's like 23 bucks a team. I mean,. Almost everybody did uh, very, very well, but some people did not do as well. And, you know, I apologize for that. Um, not that, you know, I can control it, but I like to see everybody getting something. There's only one person who unfortunately didn't get anything. Um, a couple people didn't get much, but again, it's unfortunately how it works. Um, I originally wanted to do that full master case. We ended up having to do. God, it's a big stack. A half master case, but you know, we didn't even get a whole set actually. I tried to see if we had a complete set. We didn't even complete one regular set of cards, which is kind of ridiculous because it's not even 100 cards, but we did not complete one. Amazing. Anyway, Skyler, you tore up this break. These penny sleeves are hard to push over here. Again, that green's 25. Number 525, yeah. I would talk, but there's not too much for me to say right now. He's got a Kevin Smith PC started. He got so many different Kevin Smith rookies and it's amazing stuff. Kevin Smith there. Spielman, Lime Swede, that's a sweet autograph. Dennis Dixon. Another Kevin Smith autograph and a Kevin Smith one of one printing plate. I mean hopefully you like Kevin Smith or know somebody who does you can trade with. Certainly got a lot of PC items for him. Rain Man, you, know, you got two teams. You probably did the worst um, out of the people who got two teams, so 
sorry about that. You did get one real nice, uh, you know, legendary autograph, which is cool, but Broncos and Jags. Case BB28 here. Got the Patriots. Um, a bunch of different things. A lot of Craig James. Flutie. Ended up putting him on the Patriots. He was one of those guys that had a ton of teams and stuff, and I'm trying to think. You know, he had two different sessions with the Patriots and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. It ended up that I decided he was a Patriot. Really want to thank all you guys that got in. It's fun. All these breaks are good. Um, that Colt Brennan is number to 25. Very nice. Devin Thomas, Malcolm Kelly. Jersey cards. The jersey cards in here are some of the nicest jersey cards I've seen basically any set um, ever. Just the setup is amazing. Now most of the swatches are pretty boring. Um, if you do get a patch, it's pretty low numbered. The number to like 10 or something like that. Melbourne Cowboys. Um, 25 there. But if you do get this uh, Darren McFadden's number one of 25 rookies, so that's pretty sick. Might be one of the better cards in the whole break. Um, Anyway, if you get a patch, it's really no, low numbered, but just the regular jersey card, just the setup of it, it's so amazing. I mean, I just, I mean, I really do love it. It just looks great. We got two of the Matt Ryan, so hit him up for a trade. I'm sure he might keep one. He got a few really, really nice Matt Ryan, so if he didn't collect them, he might now. Or he might sell them, but he's got two, so maybe he'll trade one off. He got a one of one printing plate of Matt Ryan. I would say that's definitely the hit of the break. Got a lot of nice cards, but, uh, it's hard to beat the one of one of Matt Ryan. And I really gotta go even faster. Not uh gonna make it here. Anthony Carter, John David Booty, John David Booty. So you got the auto and the jersey, which is kinda cool. C Martin, got the Rams there. Donnie Avery, autograph. Uh some of these autographs are numbered and some are not so I apologize if I miss a number right now but obviously it's in the break go watch the break if you haven't watched already I'm sure everybody has a Connor he ended up getting Gene Stallings he has random randomization thing most of his cards actually came from being randomized he had two teams and didn't do too well but then the randomization he actually got the John Jefferson autograph which is really sick and the Gene Stallings which was the one coach autograph we got and he got the Mike Hart so uh, you actually did really well Connor um, especially for not having done too well with your actual teams to start with sorry my phone is uh, still on but whatever it's not a conference Matt Flynn the 25 Dorsey, Brown, Nelson, Jamal Charles, a lot of great rookies. Brett Favre. It's kind of weird. It's two different pictures. One's black and white, one's color, and they're both the exact same number, so I don't know what it is. Uh, Jamal Charles, Jersey. Phone's blown up. That's got out of work, so I guess people are trying to get a hold of me. Good times, good times. So, uh, Red Sox, 58-24 pile, by the way. Matt Forte, you got the couple nice rookies you got that sick auto and you got the George Blanda he's one of those toss-up guys but you know he did he paid his dues on a few different teams his number to 125 and then number to 400 is that Matt Forte um, my pop. God, got a minute left got a lot of uh, I had the Eagles the Ravens and the Oilers slash Titans I hooked up Flacco. I got a ton of Flacco stuff. A lot of that repeat base up there. Um, where's um, Bill Hawkins there. I got the two Flaccos. It's kind of cool. It's alright, I guess. And uh, there it is Tommy McDonald. Fight. Collector Net. Cedric Callis, Brennan Goldston, Eric Ainge. Got the Eric Ainge auto and the John Maynard auto. Nice cards. Marshall Snare. Go Herd. Keep to lead. And Josh Johnson. The auto there. ABF Collector 629. Had the Giants. So some Manning. Uh, Manninghams. Marshall. Craig Morton. 
Craig Morton, Go Bears autograph. That's pretty sick. And Andre Woodson. And the only person who didn't get a hit in this break, I threw cards all over the place after taking a lot of time to set it up, was uh, Hellcat, who actually bought the Browns. Hellcat, I uh, apologize, man. Uh, definitely wish you would have got something. Um, I can't really make up for it, but as always, when uh, you know a friend of mine or somebody, I think there's only one or two people that uh, don't do very well in a break, like don't get anything, uh, I will give you $5 off my next break. Just remind me when it comes up, no matter what the break is, even if it's a $5 spot break, you get $5 off if you want it. It's only good for my next break, but let me know, bro. Sorry again. Uh, peace, guys.